There are wonderful locations to explore in Berlin, a city that dates back 775 years. Many tourists from throughout the world are welcome to this amazing city. Visitors come to learn about the most dependable and vigorous German civilization in the history of human civilization. Politics, saints, and battlegrounds all have a wealth of wisdom to impart to their visitors. Berlin, the capital of Germany, has a long history dating back to the 13th century. Every page of the World History Book can be revitalized by visiting one of Berlin's many noteworthy attractions. Additionally, there are substantial media, legislative, and scientific hubs in Berlin. The areas are renowned for their social and intellectual vitality. Let's see best places to visit in Berlin. Number 1. Reichstag the Neo-Renaissance Palace, known as the Reichstag, was initially finished in 1894, and it housed the German Empire's imperial diet until it burned down in 1933. It was not utilized once more until after Germany's reunification, at which point it underwent a 10-year renovation before becoming the German Parliament's headquarters in 1999. This spectacular reconstruction's replacement dome, the couple, is one of its highlights. It is made of glass and provides wonderful views of the neighborhood, particularly at night from the rooftop restaurant. Check out the light displays and movie nights on the program if you are traveling to Berlin in the summer for an unforgettable experience. Number 2. Museum Island German-speaking Museum Island, or Museum Sinsel, is the location of a singular collection of five illustrious museums, including the Alts Museum, Neuss Museum, Alt National Gallery, Bode Museum, and the Pergamon Museum. Lustgarten Park and Berlin Cathedral are situated on the island. There are numerous archaeological artifacts and stunning painting collections at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Museum Island, which is part of an island in the Spree River in the center of Berlin, is well known for housing, among other ancient artifacts and sculptures the famed Nefertiti bust, and the Pergamon altar in its museums. Number 3. Brandenburg Gate Brandenburger Tor, also known as the Brandenburg Gate, which served as a border between East and West Berlin during the Cold War, today stands for Germany's unification. Before the Berlin Wall came down, the sandstone gate served as a representation of the city's division between East and West Berlin. The gate, a military memorial that symbolizes both victory and separation, is now situated in Pariser Platz and draws millions of tourists each year. The Brandenburg Gate has seen more than 200 years of history. The gate's construction began in 1788 and was finished in 1791. The gate was created by Prussian court architect Karl Gotthard Langhans and was based on the Propyleum of Athens Acropolis which has six dormant columns that are two road and rise to a height of 26 meters. Number 4. Charlottenburg Palace Berlin's skyline is painted by Schloss Charlottenburg with elegance and opulence. The Charlottenburg Palace, which bears her name, was constructed as Sophie Charlotte, the first queen of Prusta vacation residence. The palace was further enlarged and remodeled by succeeding royal generations to increase its splendor. As a result, it changed from being a modest vacation home to becoming a symbol of luxury. Architectural designs from many ages can be found inside the castle. French art is present in the original palace's enticing Baroque salons, renowned porcelain museum, and new wing. The splendor of each chamber, banquet, gallery, and even the restrooms will surprise you. It's essential to take a stroll in the sizable palace park. Number 5. Checkpoint Charlie Checkpoint Charlie is another another site in Berlin that is a must-see. The museum designates a highly intriguing spot where East and West Berlin converge. This destination for vacationers features a variety of galleries and passageways that are adorned with the historical background of common liberties. Additionally, it shows the Berlin Wall and Checkpoint Charlie's historical context. The museum always has black box Cold War outdoor performances. The fascinating program highlights sections of the Berlin Wall, as well as historical details. A visit will give you a glimpse into life behind what was then known as the Iron Curtain, delving into one of the tightest and most complex border security systems of the time. 
The tour is centered on Checkpoint Charlie, which was once a part of the escape route between West and East Germany during the Cold War. Number 6. Berlin Wall Memorial In an effort to stop its residents from emigrating to West Germany, East Germany partitioned the city in 1961, giving rise to the Berlin Wall. The four-meter-high wall had 293 observation towers, 57 bunkers, and a length of 155 kilometers by the time it was demolished in 1989. It also cut across 55 streets. Highlights of the trip include the Marienfeld Refugee Center Museum, which features exhibits about the 1.5 million refugees who passed through Berlin, the Ganter Litvin Memorial, which honors the first person to die while attempting to cross from east to west in a watchtower, and the monument in memory of the divided city and the victims of communist tyranny. Number 7. Television Tower The Berlin Television Tower, also called the Berliner Fernsehturm, is a landmark that can be found close to Alexanderplatz. The observation deck of this tower, which is the tallest building in all of Germany, provides a fantastic vantage point for excellent views across all of the city. One of Germany's most notable mid-century modern structures is the Berlin TV Tower, which was constructed in the 1960s. It was also a true feat of engineering when it was built, an elegant restaurant where you may take in the view while having a drink or a complete meal is located directly beneath the main observation deck. Number 8. Gendarmenmarkt The Gendarmenmarkt is arguably Berlin's largest square. The Konzerfaus, the French cathedral, Francis Sischer Dom, and the German cathedral are its three most prominent and distinctive buildings, Deutscher Dom. One of Berlin's most popular tourist destinations right now is this charming square from the 17th century. It organizes a number of community events that honor vintage performances in the Konzerfaust Theater each year in the late spring. The city's well-known Christmas market is located at Gendarmenmarkt every December. A massive statue of the great poet Friedrich Schiller is located in the exact center of the town square. Many of these structures were severely damaged during World War II, and they were later rebuilt. Number 9. Potsdamer Platz In this thriving area of Berlin, one may find shopping, entertainment, and art. The post-war reconstruction of the fully destroyed square has resulted in a contemporary plaza with iconic towers and a commercial arcade. The region is viewed as a symbol of the reunification of Berlin's two halves, uniting its citizens in a brand new territory. The Platz is surrounded by sleek, contemporary business buildings with a replica of Germany's first traffic signal standing in the center. A changing art display is available in the daimler Chrysler atrium and the Sony Center houses a 3DMX theater, a shopping center, and a cinema complex and film museum. Number 10. Holocaust Memorial A straightforward yet moving memorial to the Jews who perished as a result of Hitler's extermination scheme is the Holocaust Memorial, which is close to the Brandenburg Gate. The 2,711 slabs are spread over 205,000 square feet in a wave-like pattern. Each stone is different and can be anything from ankle height to over six feet tall. The passageways in between the slabs have an undulating surface, which creates an overall feeling of instability and disorientation. The tranquil, calm stones have no predetermined path, so visitors are free to move in any way. And Subterranean Information Center at the memorial's base provides details and first-hand accounts of those who were impacted by the Nazi Party's acts.